Office 2010 using functions to solve problems 1. Okay, so we're going to look at how to combine functions and formula to actually uh, solve everyday problems. So we're back to our, our little reading club and let's imagine that we now want to create a username uh, for each one of the members to log into one of the blogs for instance for them to upload or post information. So uh, down here we've specified what the format should be of this username. It should be the first three letters of the name as indicated here, the first letter of the surname, then the level that they're at, the level number, so that's the one, and then a random number. And this random number um, will be decided according to which level they're on. So if they're on a level 1, they'll receive a random number between 1 and 100, level 2, 101 to 200, and if they're a level 3, a random number between 201 and 300. Okay, so this one I've typed in manually just so you can see what the output should be. But let's have a look at how to use functions to do this, to tell the computer to do this for us. Okay, so we're going to start off and um, instead of concatenate, I'm going to use the ampersand. Okay, because we're joining everything together, uh, you could actually start with equals concatenate at this point, but I'm going to use the ampersand. Okay, so we're going to start off and we're going to get or yeah, copy the first three letters of the name. And to do that, we're going to use the left function. So equals left, we're going to go to the name, comma, and we're going to specify how many characters we want. So we want to copy the first three. Okay, and then after that, and we're going to copy the first letter of the surname. So that's the left function again. I'm going to select my surname, and I'm going to... Uh, specify that I only want to copy one character. Note that I haven't put in another equal sign here. You can test yourself as you go along. So at this point we can press enter and you'll see that it's done the first two sections, the first three letters of the name and the first letter of the surname. The next thing we need to add to all of this is the level number. Okay, so this is going to be um, the first character on the right hand side. So there's a couple of ways that you could do this. Okay, you could go and use your um, find value to find the space and then copy the first character after the space, but try to keep it as simple as possible and the easiest way to do this is to say, right, I want to join. Um, use your right function. I'm going to copy the first character from the right hand side from the level uh, section. Okay, so just the first one. Okay, and you can press enter again to check yourself as you go along. Okay, okay, so now we're going to add the last part, which is the random number. But the random number depends on which level they're at. So we're actually going to use a nested if statement. We can't just use the simple if statement because we've got three sets of criteria that needs to be tested. Okay, so you're going to um, use your ampersand. And are you going to open a bracket to actually do your if statements? Okay, so also join if C2, which is your level number, is equals to level 1. All right. Then if that's true, then insert a random number. And you're going to use your rand between function for this. A random number between 1 and 100. Okay. If it's false, okay, we can't just say now put in a random number between 101 and 200 because we've got another set of data. So if it's false, you're going to have to do another if statement to test this. So if C2 again is equals to level 2, okay, then Create a random number between 101 and 200. Okay. All right, and then the last part, what should happen if it's false? So if this first section is false, if it's not level 1, and the second section is false, if it's not level 2, then it's obviously level 3, but you know, don't need to insert that now. You can just say, if all of that is false, then create a random number 
between 201 and 300. Okay, now it's just a case of making sure that you're closing all the brackets. Okay, um, if you do make a mistake with the brackets, um, Office should correct it for you. Okay, and there you've created this unique username for this person, and you can copy this down. And you can actually check yourself. Okay, so here's the first three letters of this one with the surname. She's at level 2. And if she's at level 2, it should create a random number between 101 and 200. And level 3, first three letters of the, the name, first letter of the surname, the level that they're at, and then a random number between 201 and 300. Okay, so that's one way that you can use multiple uh, functions to create uh, or to, to solve a real life problem.